lovers. Okay, so I'm no good at editing, so this is gonna be a disaster. And I don't know what to talk about. That's not true, I could talk for days. But this is my first YouTube video, and I figured the whole reason I haven't done it yet is because I don't know how to edit. And, um, well, that's just not a good enough reason to be scared. I just figured, why not do it while I'm on a wine walk? or really a white claw walk. I can already tell a number one uh, mistake I'm making is that I keep stopping and recording um, as if I'm like making a TikTok. Like just now I almost just hit the stop button. So I'm gonna try to do less of that. This man, he's jamming on the largest portable Bluetooth speaker I've ever seen, but he's like somehow balancing it between his handlebars and I'm super, super impressed. And now I'm about to walk through like a ton of public people and I can't decide if I should keep talking or like stop when I get to the other side of them. I just cannot, I can't get over the girl. So we'll inevitably stare at you every time you do something social media related in public. Like when I see a girl doing something like taking a picture or talking to her phone, I just like think to myself, like you go babe, because you, you decided not to care today. You woke up today and you said, I don't care. And we need more of that energy, but some people will just always stare. And I, every single time I'm just like, <sighs> still, but still, yeah, still. I feel like I have a better idea than doing this on a walk. Okay, this is this is much better, but I think I need a better angle. I'm gonna have to use my white claw to prop it. I fear, I just fear. Okay, for those of you that follow me on IG or uh, TikTok, you know that this Le Pool is my office. And it's not because my apartment doesn't have other amenity spaces, it's because I hate being inside during the summer and during the winter I don't want to go outside but like during the summer if I'm inside I'm like looking around at my surroundings depressed and staring at my husband like what's wrong with you that you want to sit inside all day but anyways I'm just gonna ramble and then maybe cut out the stuff that just doesn't need to that just is just stupid that's how people do it I guess I'm trying to think about what I want my YouTube page to be because I just have spent a long time thinking like, what what niche am I gonna fit into? And I don't really know if I do. And then I'm like, since when is that a problem? Are you kidding? You're just not gonna do it because you don't know what, what area you fit into. I'm just gonna start talking and then we're gonna figure it out from there. Um, together, I think we'll figure it out. So basically like, we have more time over here and I feel like this is a good place to do obviously vlogs and stuff i'm not saying that hasn't been done before i know that does so i feel like this is a way better place to do vlogs because my instagram is sort of like my vlog every day so i'll do that more on youtube but also just like live chats that are longer you guys asked me a ton of really good questions on tiktok that weren't way longer than a 60 second video um so i'd like to do that where it's a little bit more searchable um, and I'd like to do wedding stuff that's useful like into the future. That's where I'm at. Okay, in terms of my goals, I feel like I'm in an interview right now. Are you freaking kidding me? And this other couple leaves their door open all the time. I'm sure they hear me film all day long. Whatever, no shame. I think the one thing that, that is, will always be true about me is that I'm based, I'm just pretty much a girl's girl through and through. And that's probably because I grew up with all girls. I don't like men very much except for the one that I married. And I'm, it's not like a, ooh, I'm a girl's girl. Like it's like really like, I don't do well having guy friends because I really just don't like men that much. That's all. But I'm also super like um, opinionated, independent minded. And I think one reason that a lot of us get along so well is what well what started with my wedding planning process and I know that this is like starting to be more and more of a thing now but like I have this idea that is protect your peace um like at all at all costs when it comes to your wedding but like the concept of doing it in the most respectful way possible so when I started planning my wedding I started thinking about how I was going to protect my peace and at first that came through and things like walking myself down the aisle getting rid of like a lot of traditions that I felt just didn't serve us adding in other traditions I think something that's interesting about me and my husband is that we're still very religious 
And I think a lot of people sometimes c contradict those two. And I don't think that, that that needs to be true. But I don't speak for others. I mean, that's just true for me. We're very religious. We had religious traditions in our wedding. They were not the normal ones. And I don't think that a lot of traditions of weddings are even really tied to religion at the end of it they're tied to like how many goats you get for your daughter it kind of transcended into the fashion thing for me where I was like my mindset became about like you're gonna spend the most money on a party that you've had to date so don't just do like a wedding just throw the party that you want to throw and then just call it your wedding and that came down to like what colors I picked what I put my bridesmaids in um what music we listened to, the decor, and what I wore. And I like have this thing now where I'm obsessed with not wearing white to your rehearsal dinner, but not because I don't have like a ton of white dresses I love. It's because I just think like when you're shopping for your wedding wardrobe, you need to buy the pieces that you've been obsessed with for so long that you would never spend that much money on. And then you don't have anywhere to wear because guess what, now you have somewhere to wear them. And you're about to spend that money on something else that like you're not that ne maybe you do fall in love with it but like it's not the thing you always dreamed of wearing so i think that that's my concept on your wedding wardrobe and just picking things that serve you um granted i love to deep dive internet shop like it's nobody's business but i think i want this channel to be focused on that too like just encouraging people to make their own decisions i think that when you are in the process, you do still surprisingly get like a ton of ehness from people around you that just expect certain things. And you're like, I want to politely stand up for myself and not feel weird for doing something like out of the box. I remember I posted some like bridesmaids getting ready outfits that I thought were really cute and they were definitely kind of sexy and I got completely roasted on TikTok and, um, a lot of people body shamed what I was picking out saying that no one over like 130 pounds could wear it and like I'm like dude I've been over 130 pounds I am now like I still want to wear it you're you're shaming people like left and right and I see a ton of that so I just want to be a space of you do what you freaking want to do and if you like it you're gonna probably look good in it and I say probably because sometimes we all buy stuff that looks like freaking crap on us and it's not our fault. Sometimes it's made poorly and sometimes we just know something doesn't work for us. But typically you're the most attracted to things that that work for you. That's why you fall in love with pieces. So I wanna focus on that. I wanna do tips, I wanna do vlogs, I wanna do just uplifting stuff. Like, can we just live our lives? Like uplifting people for the love of God. Like it's it, it cannot be that hard to like see someone wanna do something and say, do it lover do it be happy with it anyways i'm getting heated now that was unintended um i really want my white claw but it's it's behind the phone hold on anyways this should be fun i hope this wasn't a 10 minute video because there wasn't really 10 minutes worth of content i could just talk for probably two years it'll be really interesting because i do just like to talk with people even though i wish there was someone on the other side of the screen where it'd be like filming okay also i just thought about this but when you guys ask me questions on Instagram, I feel like some of them, you guys don't know the stuff you guys tell me on Instagram. Y'all will tell me if you're pregnant before anybody knows. Like anyone, you'll be like, just took the test, it's positive. I'm like, I feel like I should not be the carrier of this information, okay? But there are some things that you guys ask me that are phenomenal questions. And then I, those are the ones that I type like 18 paragraphs out to. And then someone will always DM me and be like, why do you type so much? And I'm like, I'm just trying to help. But, but I feel like this would be a really good place to like every week compile my best Instagram questions and like take them here. And then I'll post on my IG that I made the YouTube video about it, but I'll try to make them like sort of similar. But I feel like because some of you guys like, and it'll be really, really random stuff. Like one week, it'll be like a ton of people telling me, that they feel trapped in their relationship. The next week I'll get like 20 that say they all know that they're getting like engaged in the next three weeks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, but those are such good topics to discuss. Like, what do you do when you know you're getting engaged? Or like the, the topic of even like how it's not normalized that a lot of girls find out they're getting engaged or know it's coming 
like probably more know that than, than, than don't or how many people feel trapped in their relationship. So I'm gonna get the best ones and I'm gonna come back to you guys on here and then we'll, we'll answer that category each week. What do you think? Also, sorry, one last thing, but I will not be filming with the AirPods on again because they're giving me cringe vibes to see in my ears. I keep re-watching the videos. I'm like, what are these things? So you will not be seeing me film with these ever again after today. Okay, now, now I'm done.